We get a little bit of everything. Yeah, we have the whole blitz coming up on Coin6 News at 11. Yes, we do. Time. Got it all. Looking a lot more. To that. Fist bump. It's Let's your turn now. Now it's your <laughs> now it's your turn. You know what? If Adam would like to jump in the green screen with me, I will allow that this yeah. one time. Really? It's one, one time? time? One time. Okay. I'm down for that. I'm okay. on my way back to sports. Maybe you can Let's weave go. through there. Yeah. Okay. I do like the, the fog video that you right? were showing us yeah, from Newburgh. That was pretty awesome. Can I, I walk into it from like the You can walk in on any side you want to. I like to, just really. to come in this way. Yeah, you should do that. Out. Do that. Yeah. Give us the seaside forecast. You know, Seaside, I grew up just north of Seaside in a little town called Warrington. Yeah, you and, did. And Seaside's beautiful. There's the, uh, the, the aquarium is down here. Yep. Yeah. And that's uh, my old buddy who runs it over there. That's good. I need to shrink. You need these cameras out. Well, I am only 5'4", so this looking is good. what we're working with. Look, foggy, yeah. foggy drive. You might have, you might have a foggy drive. Hopefully. I like this. this I just want to let you know. Okay. Jeff, Jennifer, come on over. It's really fun over here. <laughs> They'll, they'll do it on Monday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll send them on Monday. Uh, Ridgefield looking, yeah, very foggy. Just as you pass Clark County Fairgrounds, that's where it gets really bad. Of course, that's usually where we see it just past Salmon Creek. So be aware of that and be ready for it, even through tomorrow morning. Now, football Saturday, a couple games for you, and really good weather. It'll be mostly cloudy, yes. Um, not warm by any means, but not too terribly cold either. And dry, 54 for you if you're heading out watch the beavers uh, at the 730 game ducks wildcats 47 degrees uh, partly cloudy for you uh, wind will be very light for game time now how about our next chance of rain you'll see most of your saturday rain going to seattle washington western washington they're all about the rain saturday uh, we're going to be dry in oregon and then our next chance for rain will be sunday mostly in the afternoon and you can see only a a portion of the state will be dealing with some light showers and then it really rolls in for us as we get to Monday afternoon and evening. Then some colder air starts to filter in. We could see snow levels down to about 5,500 feet. So places like Timberline could see some snow right there at the parking lot, but not expecting much for accumulations. Just not enough moisture out there. And in fact, we're looking at another dry stretch for you at the middle to end of next week. All right, so perhaps some easier traveling for you as you get ready to go to Grandma's house for Thanksgiving, even though that's still a couple weeks away. Okay, talking about that snow accumulation, maybe an inch to an inch and a half as we look at that ne next system coming through Monday and Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow, temperatures at the coast will be in the upper 50s, inland valleys, mid 50s. Central Oregon, you're all about uh, mostly clear skies, 60 degrees, Hood River, 51, and here is the seven day forecast. Uh, Leonid uh, meteor showers to watch Sunday night through Monday morning. So sorry, it looks like clouds yeah. are going to be in the way. Oh. Yeah, too bad they're not happening Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, all right. We'll thanks. be right back, everybody.